In this video, I'm going to give you six quick techniques for keeping your feet ah, warm while camping, hiking, and backpacking. This is part of my Keeping Your Feet Warm series. I've got something like 13 or 15 videos. Check out the links below to all the videos. Let's get right into this. In order to keep your feet warm while you're camping, hiking, and backpacking out in the wilderness, you need a key tool. And this is the key tool. Now, we're talking about when you're sleeping, not when you're hiking, and that's a whole other matter because most of the time people can keep their feet relatively warm while they're hiking by moving faster, doing whatever, but once you go to sleep, what's gonna happen? That's right, your feet are going to start getting cold and you're going to get mad. So you have to invest in a very expensive sleeping bag if you're, say, camping at minus 20, minus 30, minus 40 degrees. There is just no way to go down to Costco or Walmart or wherever, throw down 50 bucks, and think you're going to be comfortable at 50 degrees. This Western Mountaineering Puma is rated to minus 20, minus 25. I've got the older bag, the rating system was a little bit different, but I've taken this bag to Denali, Kilimanjaro, I'm trying to think where else has I've taken this. Oh, Yellowstone in the winter, and I've gone down to minus 45, it's been a little chilly, but this bag, the rating, is spot on, totally comfortable. I was just camping in sub-zero weather, minus five, minus 10, and I was warm. My feet were happy, it was great. So definitely invest in a good sleeping bag. That's tip number one in this video. The second tip is make sure you get a good quality sleeping pad. Z-Rests are super popular. These soles are really nice. That's like the most popular foam pad. I've got my old school one inch or three quarter inch foam pad. This is really good. And I've got my uber expensive, that's right, Neo Air X-Therm. This thing is crazy expensive. Now, why do you want to invest in very expensive sleeping pads? Well, you can have the most expensive sleeping bag in the world, but the down below you gets squished. So when you're laying on the floor or the ground and you're actually laying on your bag, all that down that's behind you is squashed. So if you don't have a good sleeping system, whether it's a just an insulated uh, air mattress or a foam pad or the ultimate combination of the foam pad plus the air mattress, either way, then your feet are going to freeze because you are going to freeze. So that's another key aspect to keeping your feet warm while you're camping, hiking, and backpacking in the outdoors. The next thing, when you need to go to the bathroom, make sure you have your pee bottle and pee immediately. I know this is kind of an adult subject, but everybody's gotta go, right, when it's cold. Instead of sitting there and fighting it, what happens is you start to say, oh, I don't wanna get out, I wanna to have to go to the bathroom. And then you get colder and colder, your body physiologically causes you to start getting cold. And as a consequence, your feet get cold and then you're miserable. And then when you finally go, then your feet take forever to warm up. So in the moment you wake up like, oh man, geez, I gotta go again. Just go get it done and it'll make all the difference in the world. The next tip, the fourth tip, fourth, yeah, fourth, is to, <laughs> is to make sure to warm up before you get in your sleeping bag. If you're standing there <laughs> and you're only wearing your thin shirt or Maybe you've got your, just your fleece jacket on and you're freezing, oops, yeah, this is inside out, and you're freezing your keister off. That is a huge mistake. If you're freezing and you jump in your sleeping bag, do not expect your feet to get warm anytime soon. Instead, do some exercises, do some jumping jacks, even if you gotta get down and start doing some push-ups and crank those bad boys out. It doesn't take but for 50 shallow push-ups for me to be like, whew, I'm really toasty. Now, if you're at altitude, that's a little bit tough, but boy, doing some exercises, jogging around, maybe kicking a little ski trip, whatever it takes to warm yourself up before you get in the sleeping bag will keep your feet from freezing. The next key, this was at the sixth, or no, fifth item, sorry, losing count here, is 
to keep your feet dry. You have to absolutely keep your feet dry in order to keep your feet warm. If your feet are moist or steamy and you've got wet socks on and you know, you're getting in your bag and you're all clammy, your feet are gonna freeze and they're gonna freeze all night. Don't do it. So whatever you do, make sure your feet are nice and dry because once your feet are dry, then they can get warm. If they're cold and clammy and wet, you're going to freeze and you're going to be miserable. And the final tip in this video is dress using the layer system. Right now I've got a base layer on here. It's just a synthetic shirt. Next up, I might use my fleece jacket to warm myself up. And then if it's pretty chilly, I can put on my down vest sweater. And I can get that zipped up. And then if it's even colder, I can put my shell jacket over that. And then if it's really bad, then I'll put my guide jacket on. Now being in my studio here, I'm starting to broil already. So I've got, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five layers on. I could literally be at the South Pole with this layering system because I've been there. I'm a polar explorer and be utterly comfortable. Minus 30 degrees, minus 35 degrees, 30 knot winds blowing, completely comfortable. So that is tip number six in this, in this video on six quick tips to keep your feet warm while you're camping, hiking, and backpacking in the wilderness. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional adventurer. Check out the links below to all items discussed and check out the links below to all my other videos in this series on keeping your feet warm while you're camping, hiking, and backpacking in the outdoors. Thank you for watching and keep your feet warm.